practice prepper. Jumping up to the TAC Niner, which is 900 lumens. Uh, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with this flashlight. One, one immediate downside I see with it is it's, it's a lot bigger than this E-Tech City flashlight, which, you know, that's not, I don't feel a need to compensate for anything. So having a small flashlight is actually what I prefer. This is, it's a little bit heavier and everything. I, you know, maybe it's more rugged as well, but it's, it's bigger and bigger, heavier things are bigger and heavier to pack. So I see that as being a downside, but in terms of functionality, it's pretty, pretty cool. It has a bright setting. Oh wait, you half click to go through, a, you know, kind of a medium setting and it has a strobe setting and it has an SOS setting, which I was testing this last night. And then I was realizing, you know, I'm, ca I'm broadcasting SOS on my walls in my house. I was hoping none of the neighbors were gonna care about me and call the, the police or anything like that. Uh, it has a couple different uh, uh, focus settings and I can just do them on the back wall over here. It has kind of this broad setting and then you can kind of focus it in like that. So you can go between the two of those. Uh, in terms of waterproofness, uh, this one is kind of like, you know, you can splash, you can get splattered, you know, you could probably run it through the shower or something like that, but you, you, you're not going to be wanting to submerge this. It's like, um, what's it like IPX4 or something like that, like just below being real, really waterproof. Let's take the TAC Niner and see the same thing. Now, before I do that, let me make sure all these seals are closed up. It's nice and tight there. All right, we're going to turn that one on and we'll drop that one in. So far so good with the TAC Niner. Kind of flipping it around. I'm not seeing any bubbles coming out of it. Oh, there's a few bubbles kind of coming out of this chamber. Yeah, where it kind of like does this thing here. There's some water getting in there, but let's see. I mean, the light's still on. We still get the light on. You can kind of use it as a squirt gun. So this TAC Niner is rated to just be, you know, you kind of spray it or whatever, but clearly I'm sticking it in here and it's still going for now anyway. But overall, it's a pretty decent flashlight. The way that you do the charging on it is that you unscrew this back cap here and it's gasketed, uh, which, you know, really keeps these, uh, you know, this USB port under here. Uh, clean and safe under there. Whereas this one, you know, it just it has this little floppy thing. And uh, then to get at the, the battery, if you don't want to just charge, you want to get at the battery, you open up this, and the battery slides right in and out of this one. But as a flashlight, you know, in terms of being waterproof and everything like that, pretty nice. And again, $25 on that one right there. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.